Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. We have the privilege of traveling around the country and meeting some of the most amazing people. We get to hear their stories and their traditions as they invite us into their lives for a brief period of time. See where he shot him, Madison? We meet their families and friends as they allow us a glimpse into what really makes them special. Three years ago, we met Aaron Ray and Travis Lane from Bunston, Missouri. And while we became great friends with Aaron and Travis, we couldn't help but notice this smiling little boy who was always with them. This is Levi. Aaron's son. He emphatically loves the outdoors, loves being with Aaron and Travis, and has the type of personality that the minute he talks to you, you can't help but smile. We are thrilled to be able to call Levi a friend and excited to document the adventure that is his life. America, meet Levi the Outdoorsman. Listen up, I've rode this mountain 70 years I've been alive Choked on rocks and rattlesnakes, a wonder I've survived And don't think I haven't had a bronc like you try me Every time he thinks a monster is hiding around a tree Well, the monster's on your back, son, better try to understand the cowboy that you're fighting now was born to this here land. One day you learn your scars and all the fearlessness you lack. Don't worry about the things that you can't see. The monster's on your back. And there's a monster on your back. Working in the fields and the woods is a way of life that is sadly being eroded with each passing generation. As subsequent generations become more and more accustomed to a digital presence in their life, working with their hands, their tools, and in nature is quickly becoming foreign to most kids and young adults. But during all the work in the fields and the woods that we put in during our pursuit of whitetails, there is Levi. Wanting to be out there and wanting to learn and we couldn't be more excited to see his passion to work in the outdoors and that his dad encourages him to learn the lessons that can only be taught from the woods. Lessons they seldom teach in school. Something that fits this right here. Okay. Let me unload it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep high. Probably right above that knot. It'll probably be right Help. Can we hold that? Yep. And I got a. Trees, I'll watch to see if we're going to need to clear out anything. Grunt when you're doing it, too. Ah!
They just got corn planted in here. Ned, stop! Stop! Okay. I got one set up on the corner, but Dad. being no one kind of been hunting up there. They're gonna be tired of I love fishing. 
You bet, buddy. Got one. Oh, he's got him. Oh. oh. You stand up, buddy. You get off. No, little old bass. It's a keeper. Yeah, small one, they're fun to kid. Oh, a big old bass. Oh, that is a big bass. Well, we've fished, I don't know, maybe last year sometime, or maybe it was the year before. They not look done? Not really. Well, don't eat them. More for me. Yay. More for me. Got it? You don't want There he is. Big one too. Got one. Big yeah. one. Got one. Heck yeah, he does. Get him, Levi. Big one. Come on, them brush fish. Big brush fish. <laughs> 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 well, good big brush fish. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, missed me. <laughs> you did, you warned me. Here we go. That's our guy. Come here, Bass. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, he is. Good size. Got him at that. That's a keeper. You want to keep him? Yeah, I'll keep him. My gosh, he's a whore for a profit. We look like a big old bass. I <laughs> look so far out there. There's some chasing or something going on over there. There's some chasing or something going on over there. It's good, probably above chasing right now. Drop it. Hold still, buddy.
believe I keep watching that pub, do you see? Uh oh, yes, I do. Kevin, here comes the pub. Here's the pub. The pub's to the right. Do you see the pub, Levi? Yeah. Bonnie's shoulder. Whenever you're ready, shoot him. I think you got him. I think you got him, buddy. So, so a couple does. So one doe came in, and then two more does came and followed, and. We were looking at them and stuff, and then as soon as we looked over to the right, a buck came up. What, it, what, what buck do you think that is? I think it's, um, we've been, I think we've been having it on our camera. Uh, I think it's an eight-pointer, I'm not for sure, but, and then he came up here right in the middle, and then does left down there, and they went into the woods, and then he came right up here in the middle. And I got my gun in me and stuff, and then I pulled the trigger. We don't know if he's dead yet or not. He's still kicking in a lot and stuff, but we know he's sick. I can't wait to walk up to him. I can't. Oh, God. I can't either. I'm a man, oh, man. Touching. Oh, touching. He's dead. Six, seven, eight. Eight pointer. Oh, no, buddy. <laughs> All right. Man. He's a nice one for your first deer. That's awesome. I got him aimed up and then I just shot and then he ran around the scene and then we waited about maybe 40 minutes. You see where he shot him, Madison? Right there. I'm gonna shoot him right behind the shoulder.
Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.